Breaking news on the eve before Patriots training camp as the New England Patriots have signed wide receiver Jalen Hurd and a linebacker Diego Fago. We've pronounced that correctly here. Very important. Let's tell you about both these players, uh, starting with Jalen Hurd. Uh, and we'll be honest here. There's not a whole lot of information out there on either one of these guys with their lack of playing time in the NFL so far. But we'll do our part to tell you what you need to know about each player. Let's starting with Hurd here. Former third-round pick out of Baylor back in 2019. But he's been dealing with injury issues throughout his career, uh, knee injuries in particular. Uh, there was a lot of excitement about him coming out of Baylor, playing for the Baylor Bears. He was a former Big 12 Newcomer of the Year, and expectations were pretty high that he could turn into something. If you go back in time to the 49ers preseason games uh, many years ago, this was a player that had breakout performances that looked the part that played very well in the preseason, but the injuries have caught up to him and just been an issue of some sorts and why he hasn't been on an NFL team since 2021. And so now the Patriots bring him in, and I'm sure a lot of you are saying to yourself, why Jalen Hurd, a guy that has not been able to get on the football field, let alone stay on the football field. But I'll explain as we examine the scouting report here. This is what Jalen Hurd brought to the table when he was coming out of Baylor, according to Lance Erline of NFL Media. Hurd was used as a big slot, but he might need to transition into a role outside to take advantage of his potential to stretch the field as a downfield bowl winner. He's still learning the nuances of the position, but he has outstanding traits, a work ethic, and ability to get much better very quickly. While Hurd will be an NFL receiver, he offers a unique option of becoming a short yardage banger near the goal line. His best days are in front of him. That was the report from Lance Erline uh, a couple years ago of him coming out. Now, hopefully the best days are still there at this point. But I'll say this before some of you, because I know that there's going to be some people that say, really, what are you doing here? Belichick again uh, with another signing that's just so random, if we want to put it that way. I mean, but here's the deal. The bottom line is this. This is a guy that the scouting report is pretty good on, right? All those things there. And I would say that with the injury history, we haven't been able to see it. And as we go into training camp, and you're going to have 90 guys there, why not? Why not give him a shot and see if he could make the roster and if he's fully healthy and if, if he's put it all together? This is one of those deals for me. I put it this way, folks. There's nothing to lose from the Patriots giving Jalen Hurd a shot here. If he doesn't look like the player that he was thought of when he was coming out of college at Baylor, then you cut your losses, you move on. Or you might have found a gym here in Jalen Hearn and add him to your roster here that you didn't know was out there. So to me, I wouldn't read into this too much. There's no reason to get angry about this or upset. Let's see what he brings to the table. I give him a shot. I, I like the signing just to see what he potentially brings to the table here. How would you grade the Patriots signing for Jalen Hearn? What do you think? A, B, C, D, or F? Way in the comment section. Put a grade on it for me. What do you think of New England making this move to bring Jalen Hurd in. Folks, this is why you subscribe to Patriots today. As I'll be honest, we were getting ready to go home, call a day here at Chat Sports, and then this news broke, and we said, we got to get the video out to Patriot fans to tell them about these not one but two signings. So if the Patriots make any more moves, you know we're going to bring you a video as quick as we can here on the channel as we're talking news and rumors each and every day. We also have some exciting stuff in the works throughout football season with some potential live shows and watch parties. If you want more Patriots content, this is the channel for you. Subscribe for free today. Turn on notifications so you never miss a moment. We got you covered right here on Patriots Today. Now more on Diego Fago, undrafted free agent in 2022 out of the Naval Academy, and he had a really good career at Navy, played in 47 games 
with 35 starts at the Naval Academy, including two first-team All-American Athletic Conference appearances. He, he was legendary at uh, the Naval Academy and a, a household name of sorts. People loved what he brought to the table in college football as uh, being just such an effective football player. And for more on the scouting reports on uh, what he brings to the table, Diego Fago, let's hear from the folks at Pro Football Network uh, with what they had to say. This was about Fago prior to last year's draft. Tough, hardworking linebacker with average size and speed, patient diagnosis plays before they unfold and takes proper angles to the action, flies around the field, slides off blocks, and fills the correct gaps against the run, displays solid skills and coverage, and works to finish plays. Here's more. He lacks size and gets easily sealed from action, does not possess a closing burst or long speed. Fago is a hardworking linebacker who gets the most from his abilities and plays with great instinct. He comes with average size as well as poor speed and lacks much upside. Kind of like what we talked about uh, earlier with Hurd, this is a signing for me that no reason to get upset about. Let's just see him get a shot, and if he makes it, great. If not, uh, so be it. But I'll, I'll say this. I do love it when I see service academy players get the chance in the National Football League to prove themselves, especially considering how many years that we went through things in the NFL where guys weren't getting those opportunities because of their commitments to uh, their military service when they were done playing football. And I'll say this, though. The thing that you are going to get, uh, no matter what, when you bring in these service academy players, such as the case here with Diego Fago, is you're guaranteed to get somebody that's going to work hard and they're going to be disciplined. And if you know Bill Belichick, those are two of the biggest things he's looking for is hard workers and disciplined football players, and you're going to get just that with Diego Fago. So best of luck to him. We'll see what happens. But nonetheless, I want to know what's your one-word reaction to the signing of Diego Fago. What do you think of this move by the New England Patriots to bring in Diego Fago? Let us know what you think in the comments section below. Hit us up on social media. I'm on Twitter now, which has an X for some reason as it's loco. Instagram, Facebook, threads, and more. Tyler Jones Live, you can follow me there. And I'll see you next time right here on Patriots Today.